What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. The Anna bars are back in stock. We got cinnamon swirl crunch, just like a bowl of cereal in your pocket. We got PB and J like grandma used to make. And we got white chocolate cookies and cream, the fam favorite. Check out finalbossformance.com. Could RGF 10 will save you 10% off the best protein bar on this planet. Me and McDonald's have had quite the love hate relationship. Back before I didn't care about my physique or my body, I would visit that drive through at least four to five times a week. One of my favorite things that they had was this breakfast sandwich called the steak, egg and cheese cheese bagel. Love that thing, but they discontinued it at a lot of McDonald's stores. But don't you worry, in today's video, we're going to bring it back to life. In today's video, we'll be making an anabolic steak, egg, and cheese bagel. Everything you love about the McDonald's classic breakfast with even more protein and less calories. If you've been wanting McDonald's breakfast, but being seen in that drive through might hurt your reputation, then look no further than this video, because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. Most diets are boring, and most diets fail. That's because when you are doing them, the food you're eating isn't anything you're actually getting satisfied satisfaction out of. You don't enjoy it and don't look at me and tell me that you do. But if you want to diet that's sustainable that you can actually follow where you eat foods that you love, then check out the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. Every recipe on this channel broken down an easy to use guide to fits right in your pocket. I'm a level with you. I really think if you follow what's in here, you're going to see results no matter what. You just got to follow what's in the book. It's really that simple. Link in my description. So now if you guys are ready to their epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it. Yeah. The most important part of this sandwich has got to be the steak. And I recommend if you are buying steak and you want to keep it as lean as you possibly can, go for flank steak. You can literally look at this and you can see how little fat is actually in here. Yeah, we'll have a couple pieces like this, but we're going to trim that off, baby. So keep in mind, if you want the best steak possible on a diet, go for that flank. So what we want to do is weigh our steak. We have 360 grams and the goal here is to trim it in a circular pattern until we have a 168 gram patty. And while we're in here, we'll remove some of this fat. And as of right now, she weighs about 200. We just have a little bit more to go. So I'll round her off, take a little bit off of there. And that is perfect. Now we just transfer it back to the cutting board. And we're going to give it a little seasoning. I'm just going to sprinkle some garlic powder on this side. I'll take my fingers and just kind of pat it in. Then I'll just do a dash of black pepper, pat that in as well. Flip it, do the exact same thing. Boom, 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 boom. And then the final thing I'm going to add to lock in some flavor is some Worcestershire sauce. Don't know if I'm saying that right. Some people like to let it marinate, but I just like to sprinkle some right on top and do the exact same thing we did with the seasoning. Just kind of pat it in, let it soak. There's no calories in this, so you can go about as much or as little as you want. Give her a flip, do the exact same thing. And keep in mind, this is just how I like to season it, but you can season your steak however you want. At the end of the day, meat still gonna be meat. And now we just gotta grill the steak. You can easily do this in a skillet, but y'all already know. I love my Phillips tabletop grill. It gives you the sear marks right into the steak. I think it gives you all the flavor of grilling without having to light up a grill. So we'll just sit the steak right on here and and let it do its thing. And while that steak is getting ready, we'll go ahead and get our onions going. Take a large white onion, cut the ends off, boom. And I really like to get this whole outer layer off. I think once you get to the middle of the onion, it tends to be a little sweeter, a little more aromatic. Now that she's looking good, I'm just gonna cut off a slice. Big one right here in the middle looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this. And what I'm looking for is 28 grams. And this right here is 30. So I know if I dice this up, we're gonna be good. Just give her a few little cross slivers here. Go in and break them apart. And now we'll just let them saute for a minute. Pre to skillet, hit it with nonstick. Toss the onions in and let them do their thing. And then when it comes to the eggs, we need 92 grams of egg beaters. It's gonna look like eggs, but have the nutritional content of egg whites. And what's perfect for these sandwiches are these tiny little egg skillets. It's gonna cook into a perfect circular shaped omelet. It's gonna fit right on the sammy. So I'll just hit it with nonstick, weigh out my 92 grams, then place it on my skillet and then turn that heat on until it's cooked all the way through. So we just pulled the onions off. We're gonna set these to the side for now. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our bagel. Now I like to use these lenders bagels, you'll find them in the refrigerated section of your grocery because they're only 210 calories a bagel. Because if you're not careful choosing a bagel, those calories can really add up. So we split her open, hit each side with a little bit of zero calorie butter spray. Then we'll just pop them in the toaster and let them do their thing.
and everything's coming together at right about the same time. So now we build. We take the bottom part of our bagel while it's still hot, lay down a piece of fat-free American cheese, sit our steak right on top, and we follow that up with our grilled onions, and we follow that up with our egg circle, then another piece of fat-free American cheese, and then finally, we put the top on. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the anabolic McDonald's steak, egg, and cheese bagel. And this is what I like to call the perfect McDonald's breakfast. We got the toasted bagel, we got the grilled flank steak, we got the sauteed onions, we got the melted cheese, and we got the egg. I know she may look big, she may look messy, but I'm telling you, you take one bite into this thing and it's off to hog heaven. If you guys made it this far into the video, please smash that thumbs up button for me, comment down below, is there a fast food sandwich you wanna see me make? Hit that subscription button, and before this gets cold, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. We are doing a little change of scenery. My dining room is under construction. Don't mind me, comment below. Do you like it right here for the final clip or do you like the dining room? Let me know. Before we bite into this thing, don't forget, maybe your last chance, Anna Bars back in stock. All three of the OG flavors, autobossformance.com. Could RGF 10 saves you 10%. You've already saw this majestic beauty. Take a look again though. That looks incredible. Y'all ready? Three, two, one, let go. Mm. This is the perfect breakfast sandwich. Toasted bagel, melted cheese, juicy steak, onions. I don't see how you could go wrong with this one. And if I'm being completely honest, this might be the best breakfast sandwich ever dropped on this channel. Hands down, it's gotta be the steak. And just look at the outside of it. The melted cheese, the juices from the steak, it just creates something truly magical. I am, this entire sandwich, if you make it exactly how I did it, which end up with for the entire thing is only 595 calories, 15 grams of fat, 64 grams of protein, 51 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber. And if you Compare that to McDonald's sandwich, we have less calories and I think right around double the protein. So come on, man. Half the fat, I mean, come on. That's why I always preach on this channel, being successful on a diet isn't giving up your favorite foods, it's just making the better choices. Get the leaner steak, use the egg beaters, get the fat-free cheese, get the lowest calorie bagels. You get what I'm saying? This ain't rocket science, people. It's just uh, making better choices. And we are down to the final bite. Let's go. Oh. Mm. Every single bite of that was delicious. That easily gets a 10 out of 10 in my book. No questions asked. You gotta make that one. Tag me on Instagram. Let me know what you think. And you already know, if you got the RGF Anabolic Cookbook, it has been updated, so go get your updated copy. We're trying to make dieting simple and enjoyable, so uh, if you want that to be what your life is like, simple and enjoyable, making gains while eating foods you love, then perhaps hit that link in my description. You won't regret it. Appreciate you guys always for checking out the channel, Anabar Restock. Appreciate all of you that have hit that up. Smash that thumbs up button, uh, subscription, comment, all that good stuff, and until next time, Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you every one of you at the next video. See you guys. I'm out.